Bro, we can get an alphabet chain out of this. We could. We doing it? Is it happening? I on that stage is fun. Anyways, we're back. Probably ready to roll, I'd imagine. I think so. Go ahead and uh, start this run. Go crazy. Are you kidding me? I Come on, what the heck? You gotta be kidding me. Wow. Alright, here we go. Now you should be able to uh, see the game. There shouldn't be a black screen this time. So levels 1 through 4, same stuff. We've been there, we've done that, we've seen it. You know? Same, same as usual. And uh, that's because in the normal game, these are the exact same stages. And back in the old days, people didn't know how to... They, did, they didn't know how to, like, replace the level IDs, make them unique, so... These levels will be good, but the levels that aren't... Well... Some of them are hit or miss. You may just be let... Dude, that's fine, man, just listen. Listening works too. I'll be here. Probably. And we'll be getting the new stuff now. There's actually more levels in Challenge Bones than in Story. That isn't bad. Yeah, Wavy too. <laughs> yeah! This stage is great. This is... I don't even think, know if this is supposed to be a bonus stage. It just kind of is. I missed you too, Sinistra. I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad you're still here. Yeah, so. Stages are just kinda, you know. that's That literally could have been beginner one. This also could be beginner like two. Like everyone always makes like beginner levels when they make packs. So a lot of these are like green, like Jungle Island. Like they're all just actually super basic because they're all supposed to be like the first stage. Because <laughs> everyone makes beginner levels, bro. No one ever starts with the hard ones. Doesn't happen that often. Well, then there's a, oh, this one's not bad. This one actually looks pretty clean. In fact, that's pretty hard. I'm surprised that's pretty hard. Yeah, first run is a tough one. That's why it's it's a really tough one. Now this stage. Wow. Flying squirrel. I'm pretty sure this stage was not called this, like by the actual creator. I'm pretty sure people who made this back name named it that. At least I think, if I remember right, that's what happened. Because it just, I don't know, someone said it looked like it, and they're like, oh my gosh, it's just this is just so awesome. Um, yeah, so basically this stage exists. I don't, I don't really, I don't, I don't get it, bro. I don't get the lore behind this one. But, uh, Fish Slave. Fish is in the cage. It's really sad. It's really unfortunate. There's not a whole lot else to say. It just it just kind of be like that, you know. Um, yeah, it's everyone always is just like what? Like every time they see that, it's definitely what one of the strangest stages ever made. These really shouldn't be in in, uh, in these dark backgrounds. They're really awesome. These green stages. Oh, chaotic! Let's go. There's a skip on this. There is a skip on this. Let's see if I can get it. Oh no! You can like hit off the goal there and actually like pop into the uh, pop into the part where the goal is, but it's it's kind of hard to do that. That is literally the beginner run. Like if you want to get a good time in beginner, it's literally just get that skip. But we're doing all difficulties, so it doesn't even matter. Is there much to say there? Nope, not really. Not, not a lot to say. Woo! Um, now we're in trouble now. You can hold up and beat that one, even. These levels are just so strange. These, oh, yeah, those borders are crazy. This is all levels, so I'm not taking any of these warps. I don't want to skip anything. I want to see everything, including easy slides. Slides that are really easy. I don't even like, 
I feel like it'd be hard making a custom pack because you gotta have a wide variety of stages and I feel like it'd be so hard making stages like this because they're just so simple. Like I'd want to like make stuff that's like really cool and memorable and I feel like that can be hard to do for beginner stages. Oh yeah, this stage is just whack, Chimney. That one's cool, but really weird. Um, and then there's this. This is actually a pretty dang good stage. And then we'll just exit off here. That'll be that. Gold everything I, uh, every every time I save time, I'll, I'll gold it. He's gone, gone for advance. Let's go. Let's go crazy. How to play, except this is the first one that's easier than the other one. Yep, that makes sense. More green stages. You can just hold up on this, I believe, and win. Yep, you can. You can just hold up and win. It's really easy. Huh? What are you saying? Huh? So basically, curl pipe. You can get stuck in the stage, I'm pretty sure. That's why it's an advanced. You actually can get stuck on that. But... You, you, you have to try to get stuck on that. You, you actually just have to try. Come on, let's go! Gonkwa has a lot of levels in this pack. I forgot how many he made. Speaking of levels he made, I'm pretty sure he made bonus as well. Another logo stage. There's a lot of logos. You get used to it. Oh, wait a minute. This is all levels. Does all levels include the Easter egg? I can't remember if all levels includes the Easter egg or not. I guess it technically does, doesn't it? Um. Oh, this, this is a... Uh, this one stands out. It's really bumpy. And laggy. A lot of, Too many polygons on this stage. So basically, there's a white block down there, and uh, this is an easter egg. We couldn't replace level 9. It was impossible at the time. So we decided to make this awesome, awesome easter egg called Gon Gon Attack. That is a hand-drawn, hand um, custom-made artwork by Scrap, you might know him, pretty awesome guy, decorated all over the stage. It's really cursed. It's really, really bad, actually. It's so, so bad. You're not supposed to play this stage. It is an Easter egg. That's why the, the the blue goal is hidden in that white cube. You're supposed to get the green goal there, which is just the normal goal. But we had to, we we had some fun with it. You know, we made it into something funny at least. Because you couldn't replace the stage, but you could retexture it. That was possible. You just couldn't replace it. Nowadays, you just you can just make the slot be something else. You can just like set it up so it's not that same level, so it's fine. And then, of course, these are all in story mode, so these are all going to be decent stages. You will see the quality drop off pretty significantly once we're past um, once we're past advanced 19. You you will see a very very clear drop in quality in stages. It's it's actually like night and day how, how much of a difference it is, at least in my opinion. And you got stages like True Logo. This is like top tier. This is like best thing to ever exist. So good. Yeah, it's a true classic. All right. Some some could say that. Complex. Skybox. It's a really nice skybox. I know. I uh, I can't. Remember. Who is it? Krabs, I think, is his name that made that. See, it's the it's this skybox, but the true logo doesn't have the crystals because uh, it kept crashing. I had to remove all the the skybox elements. It's just the it's just the the skybox without the crystals. But it looks really nice. I cannot believe I fell there actually. Plus, plus with the water effect, these stages look. Beautiful. I cannot believe I'm still falling off. Like, they look so good. Just play this safe. 
So I think my dinner's ready. I might actually BRB and go eat that, because this is a long run. I'll probably BRB after, like, I beat advanced and go, go eat. That's probably what I'll do. Treehouse. This is a fun level. Next one's Urban Jungle, right? Yeah. An IL strat on this stage is like insane. You can like actually do some crazy clips and get to the end in less than 10 seconds. It's it's kind of absurd. Of course, you'd never see that in a full game run, but it is definitely top-notch stuff. A bunch. Open maze. It's a maze that's open. It's actually not a maze at all. Like, there's like, wh wh where's the maze? Like, it's, it's, there's like only one way to go. So, that's the end of the story mode levels. Now, the quality drop begins. <laughs> Here we go. Three bowls. Back into challenge mode exclusives. Tornado, baby, let's go. This was the second stage I think ever made with cubes being the first. It's interesting. It's kind of kind of awkward, but yeah, it's definitely interesting. Jump choice. You have the choice to take whatever goal you want. I choose the blue goal because I want to play everything. But you could choose other ones. Tunnel spiral. There's some kind of skip you could do here. Probably. I don't know how viable it would be, though, so I'm just going to do this. I didn't warm up on any of these. Yep, that works. Just fly through easy. Bunny sleep. Oh, what way do you go if you hold up? No, what? Oh, that was like the worst collision it could have ever given me. I didn't know it was going to do that. I might, have, I, I might have not held up there if I knew that was going to happen. That like sent me backwards. That didn't make any sense. Dual screens. Um, that's kind of dope. Ninja, dude. Any ninjas in the chat? Dude, this, so this is like invisible walls is the gimmick here. I think I, I like know like the general direction. You have to like go like that and you can get the goal. It's bizarre, but it works. It's, it's, it's... Chaotic 2. You also start to notice after a while these, uh... Apparently the guy who made these, never giving us up, is a really big fan of the Paper Mario games, because like, so many of these are actually just made out of paper. They're paper thin. I, I'm not sure of the appeal. I don't know. Oh, and of course, watermelons, because we, we, we didn't have enough of that with Soft Vortex. You're a ninja? Dude, I'm, I'm a ninja as well. You know Ninja? I heard that guy play Fortnite. That's awesome. I wonder if Ninja is playing Ninja stage dungeon a let's go fun fact dungeon b does exist but it's not in this pack because it's freaking terrible it's so bad i'm pretty sure this is the right way there's only like two ways you can go the other way you just get soft lock no you don't get soft lock there's a hole i think you can fall in yeah it's such a long level and of course the classic not simple it's not simple so basically you think it's simple but it's actually not simple you got to go underneath here to the secret path and get the actual goal the goal up there you cannot finish there are bumpers completely surrounding it you cannot finish they're invisible it's, it's really strange might be the most bizarre level to ever exist it really shouldn't exist honestly it doesn't make a whole lot of sense but for some reason it do. I don't know. Yeah, you kind of get. Pr I would have shown it off, but I'm doing I'm doing speed run. So this stage is pretty all right. It's not bad. As you can probably tell, this is supposed to be a beginner level. But uh. I feel like advanced extra, like a lot of these, yeah, a lot of these levels are just like, 
We had to put these somewhere, you know. Rough spin. I knew that. I'm surprised I got over the first two holes. This stage has some rough texturing. Um, there is literally none. There are like no textures on this stage. It's, it's like the entire thing is just gray. I knew that was gonna happen. I, I knew that was gonna happen. Yeah. Um, I think the saddest part is that I, I I'm still playing this stage. There you go, good job. It's blue, it's just blue, yeah. Downhill. Oh my gosh, this is getting crazy. Ooh, advanced extra really taking it up a notch. Oh, get in there. Split adventure is kind of fun. I actually do like this level. It's fun to go fast on. It's just a lot of hills. But we're not going to the green goal. I know this next one I think is a touch and roll level. Yeah, dude, here it is. Spiral staircase. If you play touch and roll, you probably know this one because it's literally just that. It's, that's, that's all it is. Except, of course, paper edition. Because... Why wouldn't it be Paper Edition? Lamb's Ear? Um, this is just harder than I feel like it was meant to be. I mean, it's not hard if you know what you're doing, but... Roadblock. Dude, how is, how is my PB 51 minutes? We're not even 20 minutes in yet. I'm already about to be an expert. A stage in SMB2? It's not. I don't know what stage exactly you're thinking of. There's a stage kind of like it in Adventure. Maybe that's what you're thinking of. Nice. That stage is also kind of decent. But Split Adventure is a stage in Adventure, and I think it looks just like that, except obviously, like, better. Alright. Done. Now I'm going to switch to Baby for this last one, just because there's a lot of crazy stuff that will be, like helpful to be using baby um i thought my dinner was ready i'm gonna go check actually i'm gonna pause my timer and go check if if my dinner's ready because if it is i don't want to like wait like 45 minutes to eat it i'm a brb i'll be back in either like 15 minutes or like literally two minutes if it's not actually ready so if i'm not back in like two minutes just assume i'm eating dinner i'll be back in a sec
All right, that wasn't actually too long. Ten dash one. Okay. I don't know if you're still here, but yeah, it is kind of like training a little bit, I guess. Split adventure. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be like a like a demake of the adventure stage, though. At least because the name's the exact same. Here we go. Oh, I was trying to do something crazy there. That was not the bounce I expected. That was wild. What up, Ness? Thanks for the GL, dude. I appreciate it. Oh! That was, that was a lot more speed than I thought. Okay, wow. I thought it was going to be a lot harder. Oh, right when I right when I beard did. Well, that's unlucky. Welcome back. Well, actually, no. I'm the one who should be welcoming back. I just came back. I guess you've been here. Yeah, what's up, dude? What guitar guy? TG guitar guy. Oh, that was oh, that was crazy. Saving the frames. That was that was smart. Honestly, that was smart. I'm surprised that worked out. Um, I could finish the goal here, but I think it's still faster to just jump off. Yeah, definitely. Changes are pretty easy. Even though this is expert, it's going to take a pretty big... Uh... Wow. It's going to take a pretty big leap once we get to uh, expert 7. And beyond... Expert 11 also is insanely hard. It's the stage, I think it is. Yeah, exam D. This is already gets kind of... These are the lower quality stages. Let's just say that. A little more questionable. Paper Mario taking over Monkey Ball right now. There we go. Yeah, dude, my hair's been getting crazy long. I need to get it cut, like, so bad. How long am I going to be live? Uh, I'll at least do this run. I don't know how much I'll do after this run, though. I might do more depending on if I feel like it or not. I don't know. It depends. So, probably at least for like another like 30 minutes. Give or take. This stage actually isn't meant to be hard, but the ending here... It worked there. That ending is like random. Sometimes it just kills you. It's, it's kind of stupid. That stage actually got remade. Like I said, I didn't split on any of these. This stage is stupid, bro. It's so dumb. Like, I don't know why this isn't, like, in Master. It's just so hard. Because this bumper here... Yeah. That that bumper, you have to you have to avoid. And it's already hard enough to actually stay in the middle to get the goal. Oh, yeah, the Donkey Kong. I like the Donkey Kong logo. Oh, that stage is awesome. That stage also has, like, ten goals on it for no reason. BBHD for X-Bone or, or Switch? I would get it on PC. If you could get it on PC. Otherwise, I don't know. Almost everyone else I know has it on Switch. But I would just get it on PC if that's an option. Just because you can do like, you put like mods and stuff on it. And it's also pretty cheap. And it's faster for speedruns if you want to run it. I got it on Switch and I'm like... I don't, I don't know if I'll ever play it again on the Switch. There we go. Got it. Easy. Can't PC? Well, in that case, yeah, I'd probably Switch. It's whatever you want. I mean, it doesn't really matter either way, though. You can play it on either one. Dude, it's these are meatballs, bro. These look just like meatballs. That's all I can think of when I see them. You want to run it? Uh... I don't know if Xbox, I, I mean, I would assume Xbox is probably a little faster than Switch, but the game's probably not going to be optimized enough for the loads to really be a big difference anyway, so I don't know, I wouldn't be too worried about it. Either way, PC's going to be, I think PC's like still like way like faster in that regard, so if you're just going to get it on console, I don't think it matters which console you get it on. That last stage wasn't even bad, this isn't terrible either, Hills. 
I just don't get why that, at one stage, Expedola, I don't get why we put that so soon. This one isn't bad, but if you fail this even one time, which I, I, I fell off, but if you fail that even one time and get stuck, you can't beat the stage anymore. Yeah, well, there you go, Xbox One works then. I think Afterbite played on an Xbox One. If there's like anything different with it, he would be the, the guy to, to know. There's the only guy I know that actually has it on that one. Stroke play. It's supposed to be like a demake of an adventure level again. This stage is so dark, I literally can't see it on my TV. I can like barely see the stage. Is the run cool? Uh, I think the stages and stuff are okay. I really do not like the bosses. The bosses are painful. And I also, uh... I'm not a fan of, like, the kind of wonky collision and stuff, but, like, that's why I said PC. There's some fixes for at least some of that stuff on PC. Yeah, Jam E. That's supposed to also be, like, an adventure remake. This stage just plays really oddly, like... Okay. I should be able to just run to the end with this, yep. What up, Crazy Dave? Don't need anything like that, man. You just use Nintendo on the Wii. Which you can get through uh, Homebrew, if you know what that is. Whee! There we go. And then again, World 7 here. So these are all good quality stages. These are all in story mode, so. You get to have a break from all the paper levels and kind of wonky levels and just get to chill with some actual pretty dang good levels for the next nine stages, which is pretty nice. Especially because the, the 30s, I think the 30s have the worst stages in this whole pack. Like the 30s are just rough. Um, Master Extra gets, Master and Master Extra get pretty rough too, but Expert 31 through 39 <laughs> gets so bad. It's crazy. You'll see what I mean when I get there. There's a few of them that are just like, Holy crap, they're like so unplayable. But hey, this is an old pack. What can you do? Boom. Easy. I love I love that stage. It's it's still so fun every time you do it. But yeah, you don't there's no like action replay or anything for this. You can play it on Dolphin too if you don't have like a hacked Wii. Like just on the emulator. Otherwise, yeah, you just use a hacked Wii. But this pack in particular is like the oldest one. So pretty much every other pack that exists is like better quality than this one. This one's fun too though. At least if you're playing through like the story mode. Yeah, I have to check it out. It's definitely worth it, dude. Custom levels in this game are pretty fun. Oh, that was stupid. That was kind of an epic fail on my part. Why did I do that? I don't know. Yeah, that's the best part, is you can hear the music on playing. It sucks in story where it restarts every single time. Plus, with the party game music swaps, it's it's really nice listening to it, in my opinion. That stage is actually so nice. It's a E25 and SMB1, the one with all the, the dips. And it's another stage with dips right after it. Oh, this one's a little different. It's got to jump at the end. Ooh, side goal. That was boss. That was awesome. This texture's bugging, bro. I don't know what's up with that. I don't get it. Boom, 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 boom. I'll definitely have to do some 1.5 uh, 1.5 runs next time I do custom levels. So 1.5 is just a step up from this, pretty much. All the good levels are still in that, and then all the bad levels are swapped with other good levels. And all the levels that are good in this that look bad, a lot of them look a lot better. It's a pretty nice improvement. And we're back. Back to the low quality stuff. Here we go. Challenge mode. Starting things out with a realism logo. 
This stage is a banger, bro. It's, it's awesome. This is uh, peak level design right here. It's supposed to be uh, a remake of the Realism logo in, uh, I think, Junior or something. But, of course, this looks ten times better than that stage could ever have been. Wow. My gosh, mashup B. This stage actually isn't bad. It looks terrible. It's 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 so gross to look at, but it, it it's fun to play kind of. It's not it's not bad. Yeah, dude, it's so hard in this pack. Like, if you run expert, you're crazy. Yeah, it's it's insane. And of course, I didn't take the warp goals. The warp goals are intentionally meant to skip the absolute worst stages of this pack. This is in the top three worst stages in this pack. You literally can't see where these are. I just know where they are because I've played this. But Yeah, it, it looks a lot better when I do it because I know, I know how to do it. This stage also is really sad. It's just like... The thing that sucks about this one is it's just like you can get stuck and you just can't beat the stage. I think it got fixed in the newer version, but on this version at least, it's 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 pretty rough. I have to like have a lot of speed here because like you can get stuck in those things. That, you can even get stuck in this. Oh my gosh, you can get stuck. In that. Christmas theme, dude. That's why I'm playing these, man. Oh, no collision. That's rip. Yeah. This is one of those stages that the guy who made this stage has made a ton of awesome levels that are in this pack, but. This one had to have been one of the least playtested levels that he's made. Get in there! No! No! Bro, come on. This is where the pause buffering might come out. It, it might happen. You like the monkey race music? I'm glad. I, I love the monkey race music. It is. It, My favorite level pack. I mean, if I'm thinking about, like, in my head, the best ones I would recommend to play are probably Monkeyed Ball 2, which is the pack the Bites made. And uh, that one is insanely good, as well as uh, 651, which is the one Scrap made. Those are, like, the only two, like, people that have made, like, full-blown packs still, I think. That are, like, more than 100 stages. This, this stage is atrocious. This, it's, like... This is just so painful <laughs> going through this, bro. Um, I like these packs. I like too. This one has like a special place in my heart because it's the first one, and I also kind of worked on it. Even though this one has uh, aged considerably, but 1.5 is pretty decently well made. Although I didn't really work on that one much. I had much more to do with this one. This is it. This is this is this stage, bro. I hate this stage. I can't. I still can't believe this stage got in this pack. I cannot believe it. This goal is inside of the level. It's like, what are you supposed to do? Like, you have to just wait for it to slow down. You have to actually just wait for it to slow down. Once it slows down, then you can maybe get in. It's. I, I, I hate that stage so much. I cannot believe that's in here. Why didn't we put Dungeon B in? I don't get why that didn't go in. That's it's so much better than Humpy Rotors. These last two aren't even bad. Like These are, these are both fine. Hekameka. Hekameka is only like a 30 stage pack though. Like It's not really like a full blown pack. But I've heard that that one's good too. If you just want to play something really short. But as for, like, full-on packs, I think it's still just scraps and bites. Shout out to the big house. Hey, we're not even that far behind, actually. That's crazy. I spent forever on, uh, what is it? Humpy Rotors and Mousetrap. The 40s aren't even as bad, I don't feel like. Most of these are, like, okay. Actually, I'm, I, wait, no, I, I, uh, <laughs> I don't know, actually. I, I take that back. I just don't know how Humpy Rovers got in this pack. 
There's a couple in Master that I don't either. Like, what is it, Carousel or whatever? That one is also just absolutely atrocious, as well as Smoking Pipe. That stage really should not have been in this. But it is. For some reason. I think this is like slightly tilted. Just very slightly. Yeah, I don't know I don't know how active custom level creation is still. Jeff. The best stage ever. It's not even a terrible logo stage, actually, like in terms of playing it, but just why? Like is this is a better question. Just like why does that even exist? Beginner master? Throw literally random objects on a stage and call it a day? Yep, that's Beginner Master. Actually, just the most abstract stage ever. It's like really, really weird. I don't know. That, that, that looks like that stage was like made by some random algorithm that generated it. it doesn't even look like a real human made level. Thanks for the good luck. I'm doing Warpless to play all the levels. It's awesome. Sudden drop. Whoa. Oh, oh crap. Oh yeah, that was that, that was dumb as rocks. Yeah, I mean, you got those, you got the deluxe pack and the SMB1, SMB2 thing pack coming out soon. So you got those, but yeah, those are like all like port slash recreation, so. Trinal Fissure. Bet you never thought you'd see that today. Yep. Two bowls. There's two bowls. There's a bowl, and then there's a, another bowl. It's not too bad. There's a hidden green wall on that stage, by the way. It's kind of cool. Dirty tube. Dirty tube. Oh my gosh, this is this is awesome. Oh my gosh. Six levels left for deluxe, dude. Is that coming out like super soon? And here we go. Actual cool stage. Hellbooners. This one is awesome. Um, the only thing that kind of sucks about this stage is climbing up this whole thing is a little obnoxious. Like, every time you fail, I hope I don't fail it, but it's kind of hard, so it's a decent chance I might. If I do, I'm going to be really far behind. I don't think you have to actually climb all the way up here to do this. I just, I don't know another way to do it. <sighs> I almost fell off there. I can't see. Nope. Nope. Oh, no! Dude, come on. Where, where, where's the strat? What's the strat here to do this early? I don't know. I don't know where I can jump off. Is it here? Can you do it here? No. Maybe it's on the other side. I don't know. I know there's some place you can jump off early. I just don't know where it is. Just making sure, making sure. All right, going on to expert extra. Things get a little uh, dicey, even more. Homebrew? I mean, you need homebrew to get to Nintendo, so yeah, you want to get homebrew, and then with homebrew you can download apps. One of those apps being Nintendo, which will let you just load games, which is specifically useful in this case for loading ROM hacks. These stages just get really crazy. If you haven't noticed, also, 90% of these stages um, are all made by the same guy. Clearly doesn't put too much stock into these levels. I, I feel like he makes all of these stages in probably less than five minutes. If I were to guess. That's why they're all paper. 
And they're li they're literally all the same. They're all made by the same guy. Ne never giving us up. <laughs> they're all the same guy. That's awesome. He actually made like half the stages in this pack. Did I really need to pause buff for that? No. I don't care. I I, I I don't care at this point. Glasses. Now this one isn't actually terrible. Safe to say, whenever 2.0 eventually does come out, probably won't have as many never giving us up levels. If, actually, I don't know how many it would have. He has some okay levels. This one's by Johnny Sherfy, I think. Although I think almost every other level in Expert Extra is by never giving us up. Like every week in Billy nowadays, that's awesome, dude. That is totally boss. Billy Hatcher would be popping off. Dude, how hard would it be to do a skip here? Apparently that hard. Just not actually that hard. I think I could have done that. I'm not going to do it again. But just good to know that that would have been doable. Bound, 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 bound. Mashup C. Um, I couldn't remember how much knockback you get from that. Okay. Now this is the one stage I was talking about. The loop does actually work here. This is, this actually does work as intended. It's actually a cool level. I kind of like that one. It's dope. It's hard. Oh, this actually plays really awkwardly. That's why it's here. But there's a big skip you can do, which hopefully I get first try. Yeah. Nice. You you just skip the whole thing. Dope. And I'm ahead. We're popping off, bro. I saved a ton of time there. Here we go. Also, if you thought the Jeff logo level was cringe, well. <laughs> oh, don't worry. I got one, too. Let's go. Still probably one of the more decent bumper bounce levels. But perfect? Not quite. Could have probably used a bigger font for this. Just a little bit bigger of a font. <laughs> yep, it, it looks really bad. <laughs> Doesn't play very well either, but you know. That's 1.0, it's a mixed bag. But that's the thing that makes it special. It's made by the people. Not by professionals, it's just made by random people who also don't know how to make good levels. Except for those that do, which is like, what, like Scrap and Gonkwai and like Pseudonymous and whoever else made levels in this that are actually pretty good. Pipeline. Oh my gosh, it's so dark. I can't see. I can't see. It's so dark, bro. This one would be ten times easier if I could just see. Pausing makes it even harder because it's like the screen gets darker. <laughs> God. Yeah, we're good. And then, then this is easy. Yeah, True Logo literally was made for this pack because we wanted another stage, so I made True Logo in like five minutes. So, it was easy. Should have made another True Logo to get rid of a few, a few of these other ones. Didn't finish them all the way. Oh, that sucks. Blender, this stage you can just skip. This actually is like the same concept as pipeline. You like go across the top and then just clip inside. Uh, collision rebound. This one's cool. I'm gonna try to do the skip here because it usually isn't that bad. Yep, yeah, nice first try. If you hit the corner there, it just lets you over sometimes. False logo. I did think about doing that more than once. Trip easy, bro. Let's go. This one is awesome. Especially because the cycle, you know, never giving us up is kind of a um, notable person for making cycles that are absolutely horrendous. For some reason. Oh no, looks like I'm going to lose 20 seconds because 
I got a freaking weight all over again. Oh, dude, it wasn't even that long. This pack came out a few months after custom levels were starting to be made. It came out fast. Oh, come on. You can, like, you can speed up there and skip the cycle, but it's a little tight. This is where this is where the absolute worst of the worst are. Other than the 30s. I think the 30s might still be worse than this. Humpy Rotors is still probably... That and Chutes and Ladders, I think, are still the worst, too. Honestly. As I, But some of these ones are definitely competitors. So land on this, because at least that's flat. Okay, there we go. All the original... This has pretty much all the original stages, except for, like, yeah, like two or something. Every stage that existed, chances are it's in this pack, if it existed. And it was known about. I think you wait eight seconds. I think that was right. Yeah, that was right. Okay. But of course, this stage sucks, so. Dungeon B and Free Diver, both of which were better than Humpy Rotors and Carousel. I don't know how they discovered it. Someone named Yoshi Master discovered it. How to like actually import custom stages into the game. And I don't know how he did it. Thank you. There we go. Finally got it. Bulge. This stage exists. Let's see if I can do the cheese on it. Let me up there. Nice! It's really hard to do it on the last one. Yeah. It's feasible, ZQ, but it could take him a long time. This one also really... <sighs> this stage shouldn't be bad. I don't get why this stage is so bad. Like, this is a, an okay concept, but, like, the hits you get off of this are just horrible. Like, ah, oh, okay, actually, surprise, that, that, getting into the side like that usually is not gonna let you live. Looks like I can still actually PB this. It's gonna come down to the, uh, Master Extras. This stage is actually cool. This is in 6-5-1. The J Cool stage isn't that bad, come on. There's worse stages. It's not great, I'll admit. But it's probably bottom like 20 stages in this pack, if I were to say. Maybe, I wouldn't say bottom 10, probably bottom 20. If I were to rate these uh, stages, there's a lot of great stages in this pack. They're just, again, they're, most of them are in story mode. U-turn's not bad. You can do a skip here, it's not too hard. Ooh, I almost got it. It's the only sensible way to beat the stage is to do the skip. Really. Nice. Boom, 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 boom. So that stage does not play as nice as it looks. This stage is 10 trillion times harder than it looks. Because you can get stuck in those divots. You literally, like, basically consider those fallout zones. Like, you will get stuck in them if you're in them. It is so annoying to do that level. This one isn't terrible. SMB Junior Master 1. I can't even remember. I, uh, this might... I can't remember if this actually is Master 1 or if it was Master 5. Because I know that either... The, it, it used to be one of the names and got renamed because it actually was the wrong one. But this is a this is supposed to be a junior stage, except just help really small. And then ultra round. This stage is actually fine. I like this stage. It's a neat concept. Oh, 
Nice. Oh, I didn't get the post goals. Come on. That's fail. Tornado 2. Let's go. Mmm. Thoughts on Tornado 2? Anybody? If it takes you too long to get on here, it becomes impossible to beat the stage. Because this thing actually speeds up. Do justice for a round, man. Why wasn't a round in here? That could have replaced Humpy Rotors. A lot of levels go to. Ooh, that actually put me right in the goal. Exam 651, I think, is next. This is the old one. This is the one that actually wasn't uh, cheesable. Doing all right, Brandon? Boom, boom, boom. That is the only reason. Actually, can't you just... <sighs> I feel like you can just skip across that. I won't try it again. I'm just, I might want to like pause through this a little bit though, just to speed this up, because this will be really slow otherwise. The stage is like too long to take normally and then fail at the very end. This slope is scary, bro. Holy moly. Alright, two of the worst stages. Here we go. Donuts. The stage. Um. Wow, that stage is easy. Holy moly. Okay. That stage isn't actually as bad. This stage! This stage is so bad, bro. It's so bad. There is, like, I don't get how you're supposed to beat this level. I don't know what the intended route is. You just guess and hope you get it right. This, this is, like, actually, like, this should not have even been in this back. This is so bad. No offense to Gonkwa. He's made a lot of good levels. This one is not one of those levels. I'm sorry. Oh, you can actually just jump over all that. Okay, that'll work. Okay, we got it. We'll probably PB now. Now it's just exam easy. This stage is fine. This is the one custom level I actually made. Like, I, it wasn't a logo. It wasn't a default object in, in Wings 3D. I actually did design this. And it's still decent. I would still change this checker section. I still don't really like this that much, but the wire section I still really like. Like, I, I love this section. I'm glad. I, I'm, like, really happy with how this turned out. Although, I w also wish this was 120 seconds, but we didn't know how to change the timer back then. So this wasn't really meant to be, like, a super, like, tight time or anything. Although, yeah, maybe, maybe <laughs> this wire is kind of troll, having that at the very end. That probably didn't need to be that small. Probably, Alex, probably. And then thanks for playing. Uh, someone should check and see if the Imger Linky is even still up. I don't even know if it still is or not. It might not be. Yeah, I heard he does. I heard he does. Oh yeah, the white GameCube. We couldn't replace this stage, so we made it white and we made the goal purple because purple goal is an awesome meme in the monkey ball community. Easy. 50-43, look at that. Easy PB. Second run ever. Ever, by anyone, because no one runs this. It's just me. This, this, is, this, this category is whack. No one ever did runs through expert. Somewhat understandably. It's, it's hard, man. That crap is stupid hard. Boom, 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 boom. And that is Community Pack 1.0. Thoughts? My overall thoughts? I still like this pack a lot. If I were to go back, I would definitely swap out the like 10 really horrible stages with other things or just like wait until 10 more okay stages were made 
That is the one thing I would have changed. Other than that, I, I, I still like this pack otherwise. I think it holds up pretty decently for being what it is, you know. It definitely is a nostalgia trip, if anything. But man, it's it just sucks how like unplayable Expert and Master are. They they are so unplayable. Unless you're like just stupidly stupidly good or really know how to use the pause button or both, honestly. It is just so ridiculous. But that will be it for uh, all the difficulties. No problem, bro. No problem, Ma Matt Brian. Yo, nice emote, bro. Did you get that from the points? Yo, what up, Alex? Speedruns with the Twitch Prime for 15 months. Bro, appreciate the resub, man. That is freaking boss. Let's get it, dude. That is dope sauce. Um, yeah, save those splits. I'm scared to end my capture, but yeah, we'll do it. See if it crashes my PC again. Okay, it didn't. 